Hello, this is Hans van der Kwaas, Senior Lecturer at IIT Delft Institute for Water Education. Often I get the question how to calculate the drainage density in QGIS. This is actually very simple if you know how to calculate the length and the area of features. The drainage density is defined by the total length of the streams divided by the surface area of the catchment. So I'll show you how to do that. I will also show you how to calculate a more spatial distributed density using the line density tool from the processing toolbox. So I have here a layer with the stream network derived from the Strahler order method, which was explained in another video, and it gives for each segment the length. You can also just add that up, but I'll show you a different way. And we have a catchment polygon layer. And the first step is to calculate the surface area of the catchment polygon. I use the field calculator and I make a new field called catch area and it's a decimal number. I make the field length a bit higher because uh, it is a large number. It will be in square meters in the map units. And then from geometry I choose dollar area which will give me the area in square meters. I click OK field is added with the correct value and I save it. I can close the attribute table of the catchment and the next step is to calculate the total length of the stream network. Therefore I need to use the dissolve tool. With the dissolve tool I can convert all the different features into one feature and then calculate the total length. If I open the attribute table we see that there is now one feature of course, the length attribute is not the one that we need because that's not the one that's calculated for the whole river. So I'm going to create a new one, which I call stream length. Make sure you choose a decimal number. And from geometry, we choose dollar length, which will calculate the length of the feature in the map units. So there's the total length in meters. I'll save it. The next step is to join this result to our catchment layer. So we have everything in one table. So we can then join the attributes by location. As a base layer, I use the catchment layer. And as the join layer, I use the dissolved layer. And I can keep the other defaults because they completely overlap. You can change this to one to one, but anyways, there's only one. And when I open the attribute table now, I have both the catchment area and the stream length in one table. So now the only thing to do is to finish the calculation. So I go back to the field calculator, create a new field. Call it drain dense decimal number. We need a lot of decimals because it's a very small number in this case. And under fields and values, I choose stream length and I divide it by the catchment area. And there we see in the preview already the result. And that's our drainage density, which is now also added to the attribute table, which I can save now. Drainage density is a non-spatial uh, result. It gives one value for the whole catchment. If you want to see a more spatially distributed result, we can use another tool, which is the line density tool. You can go to the processing toolbox and look for line density under interpolation. And there, choose the stream network or the dissolved, choose the dissolved layer. You can change the search radius to 10 kilometers. That will be the radius over which the density will be calculated. We don't use a weight in this case. And the pixel size is the output pixel size. And we can make that uh, 1000 meters or 1 kilometer. And that will be the raster that it calculates. So we will get the density 
within a radius of 10 kilometers saved in a raster uh, with one kilometer pixel size. And there's the result. Let's uh, style it. Choose single band pseudo color because it's a continuous layer. Let's choose spectral and invert the color ramp. So the more red, the higher the stream density. So this gives a more spatial result. You can also calculate uh, the drainage density per subcatchment, for example, in a very similar way as uh, the first method that I showed. 